All right, let's show you a brand new product from Waveform, and this is their cheapest external antenna option for you now. It might not uh, be the best one for everyone, so let me go into some of the details of it, uh, what's different about it, and then why you would or would not want it. So um, I've already unboxed it. It does come well packaged, and it has a couple different options from how it's set up. But first, I want to hit on the big difference of it, and that's a it's a 2x2 two two antenna. So what does that mean is, really in layman's term, it has two cables. Uh, if you look at a lot of the T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T gateways, they are typically a 4x4 four four MIMO setup, which means they typically have four connections. This one is nice because it has external ports that you can uh, screw directly into, um, but then some of them I've taken apart and put pigtails on. The big thing here is a lot of the hotspots or the smaller uh, mobile uh, modems and antennas, or um, gateways I mean, they have two antenna ports typically on them, so they might be a 2x2. Two and that means that getting a 4x4 four four antenna, you're really just paying too much money for it because you can't use all four cables and all four components. So this one, I've you know, the price always changes a little bit here and there, uh, but it's something like $50 or $70 cheaper than the 4x4 four four, uh, variant of it that looks exactly the same uh, size, just it has um, two more cables coming off of it. And so on that, right now I have it on the desktop stand, which comes included with uh, just the antenna. Um, it also includes a, a pole mount here, or I guess it could be a wall mount as well because you can screw this into a flat surface and then uh, bolt it on there. Or you can see it has the zip ties pre-installed and that is to go around a, uh, a pole mount. You can also buy the pole from Waveform or if you already have a existing uh, pole out there, TV antenna tower, whatever, you can just strap it straight to that as well. So um, additionally to that, it does come with little uh, suction cup so you can actually put this directly on a window uh, that's really probably not a great uh, long-term uh, placement for especially outside because I would imagine the suction cups eventually might lose their grip um, so it's something to just kind of think about that there um, and then additionally in what I got here was kind of their kit and they includes everything I did not opt for a uh, pole mount so it includes the antenna these different mount options come no matter what the kit adds on uh, this really cool device. This is one of their uh, tricks to get the cabling from inside your house to outside your house. So this is really great um, for not having to drill any holes through the wall because this thin ribbon here can fit between a window you know, um, sill or even a door sill that you can get uh, from inside to outside. And that goes without saying that all this stuff is outdoor rated that they do um, allow this stuff to um, to stay outside um, indefinitely. So uh, in addition to that uh, cable uh, window entry one, it has, this one came with a 10 foot cable. I think you can get a 20 foot cable or you can get you know multiple 10s or multiple 20s in there as well. You do want to keep the cabling as short as possible because cabling does add loss to the antenna. So, you know, if you can get away with a, uh, a 10 foot, that's what I would recommend to do. The antenna itself comes with a six foot uh, cable. So if I add the 10 and the 6 and you know you get another you know foot or two here um, you know you have almost 20 feet of distance that you could get the antenna from your gateway so uh, if we go into kind of the specifications the real thing I, I did reach out to waveform and ask them I said hey is the 2x2 two two antenna literally just half of the internal stuff of, of the 4 by 4 and they said no it's close um, but they do rearrange the uh, rays in there a little bit so that it's better optimized in the space uh, for a two by two setup. Now, as far as who does it work with, it works on all of the carriers in the US. It works through the full spectrum of uh, frequencies other than the millimeter wave, uh, which is not very common out there at all, but it's all, all the way down from your 4G uh, LTE to your C-band 5G, uh, this will cover that. And it has about 5.2 dB of max gain uh, from the antenna pickup standpoint. And then as far as which units, it's pretty much compatible with almost any of the modems that I'm aware of. The default um, connection on these is a SMA connector, which is a common one for some of the hotspots. It's more common that they have a smaller little TS9 that comes with the, um, the antenna that it has these little adapters that go from SMA to TS9. So that will plug into most of those. And then if you need to hook this up to a, um, a motherboard where you have to take apart the, um, the modem to actually go directly on the, on the motherboard, they have pigtails, which are uh, SMA to um, U.FL connectors. And so they can include those as well if you reach out to them. So 
it basically is compatible with almost everything there. And so as I said earlier, price kind of always changed, but right now I know this stuff's on sale for like $89 for just the antenna itself. And I do have a coupon code that gets you another 5% off all the waveform stuff, not just this antenna uh, that you can use Nader Tater uh, at checkout or click the link down below and you can get that discount off everything. Now, the other thing worth mentioning on this antenna is that it's omnidirectional. So that means that there's no aiming required. This can be pointed this way, this way, this way, and it's pretty much a spherical, you know, um, uh, pickup, which is both a good and bad thing. There are some downsides to omnidirectional, and that is that if you have um, a lot of competing signals from different directions, like uh, you know towers, uh, then you could. Uh, this is not going to help as much with signal to noise as a directional one. But you get the benefit, especially if you're traveling. Let's say you're in an RV or you're camping. This one you can just set up and put on the table or put outside your RV and you don't have to worry about aiming it, it's going to pick up the same. So um, that's just something to know. If you want something more directional in two by two, I'm gonna show you uh, the dual plus um, antenna here. All right, so this big guy, uh, there's two of them here, but just one of them is a dual plus antenna. And this is very directional. And you can see by how um, it's kind of shaped like a like a arrow or a pointing, you know, so you do have to aim this one, but this will give you much higher gain and give you much better signal to noise ratio, but obviously you have the larger size uh, and complexity of having to aim the uh, unit very, um, very precisely. So that is a option if you wanted another two by two that was more directional. And then if you have the need for a four by four, you can get the quad mini one, which is the same form factor, just has the, um, the, the two extra cables there, or you can step it up to a quad pro so this is a bigger form factor bigger antenna array uh, and this one is directional so it's looking at basically in front of the uh, face of the unit and on the back side are the sides of it so that's going to help more with signal to noise and in fact this is probably my favorite one this is one i use uh, most of the time uh, at my house and i can hook that up to one of my T-Mobile gateways, I can hook it up to the Verizon gateway, AT&T gateway, or a third party gateway like a Chester Cheetah or Chester uh, router that they have. Now some people say, hey, why is waveform stuff more expensive than the no names I can buy online from a shady website? And there's lots of reasons for it. Um, I've dealt with a lot of them. Um, quality is definitely there and then customer service and then just some other examples of uh, what they do. I mean, they, they're, they're coming out with products like this that help the user um, address the needs that they have. They have things like the weatherproofing boots that, you know, doesn't help at the very beginning, but it gives longevity to the product. And then other examples here is this um, device, it has four screws that screw in here, but do they give you four screws in the packaging? No, they give you six of them. Now, yeah, those the little screws are not very expensive, but the fact that they do that, if you drop one or lose them, and same thing with like um, even the zip ties, they give you two extra zip ties, because why not? And um, so they kind of go above and beyond with that kind of stuff. So that's why I like them. They do not actually pay me uh, to make the video. So uh, they send me the products uh, for free, which is great. I'm able to test them out and share them with you. So if you have any questions, do put them in the comments down below. I do read those uh, comments and I will answer questions as appropriate. So uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, do consider hitting that like button on the video and consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. So thank you and we'll catch you next time.